So the iOS 18.1 beta 6 was released yesterday and I was able to install it. And here are the new things that are added on this beta 6. First thing, starting off with the new control center buttons, we have the two new buttons added. First one being the well requested airdrop doggle right here, as you guys can see, if you just go ahead, hold it, press it, you can just switch it to contacts, everyone for 10 minutes, easily like this. And the second thing that is added, and for this next thing to work, you have to actually turn off your airplay mode because that is a satellite. If you long press it, go to add control, and then right there, as you guys can see, this is the next new uh, toggle added in the control center. If you just go ahead and press it, right there, as you guys can see now, we have brand new two buttons. When you do press on this and click on dry, try demo, it's gonna basically uh, give you an over look just kind of a demo to test out but you do have to completely turn off your cellular data so that way you're in the sos mode but you guys can give it a try but those are the two things added in terms of connectivity but on top of that in the control center now we have two things within the measure app if you go ahead long press and click on add control and then look up measure we have the measure, just regular measure, and the next one is the level. You can add both of them, and I do love the icons here, beautiful designs. You can add both of them to your control center as well, just like so. And then obviously, if you go ahead and long press it, you can also uh, customize them to be a bigger or smaller size, depending on your preference. I can both go ahead and put this right here. I can make this square like this, or I can even just make this take up only two slots. But you guys get the idea when you click on the regular measure, it's going to open up your measure app like this. And when you do click on the level, and if you need to quickly access it, maybe you work on construction, just easily go ahead and open up your level as well. And then you can just test out if your surface is leveled or not. But besides that, guys, another thing that is added in the control center, not on inside of the control center, but if you go ahead and open up your control center within settings, if you open up your settings and then go to control, and then if you just go ahead and click on reset control center, right there as you guys can see, if you just reset it, now we have a brand new layout when you reset it, right here as you guys can see, previously it was different, but now it's slightly more customized, slightly more, uh, you know, different layout when you reset your control center. That's another new thing on the beta 6. But just talking about the overall smoothness of the control center, I feel like on the beta 6, control center has become a lot less glitchy, a lot less laggy. It's just just flows a lot smoother because previously we had a lot of lags, a lot of just glitching or just completely just freezing. But now all of them are fixed. And when you just scroll through different pages, it just feels like a lot more responsive and haptic and really, really nice and just flowing together with all the controls and buttons. But now moving over to um, Apple Intelligence, we have Apple Intelligence changes within the Notes app. If you go ahead and open up a new page within your Notes app and then start typing, you're going to see that there is a new glyph icon for apple intelligence previously it was slightly different icon design but now it's redesigned if you go ahead and click on it right there as you guys can see you can right away notice that this rewrite previously used to be retry but now it's changed to rewrite and also the icon for rewrite is a different and also if you go ahead and click on the rewrite right there as you guys can see this share feedback was previously there was no way of getting rid of this but now you can go ahead just slide, swipe it down and you will be able to easily just get rid of the share feedback if you have any feedback to share to apple because again keep in mind that apple intelligence is still on beta it's not the official like a public release it's still on beta you can just feedback share your feedback with any issues that comes up with the apple intelligence but this is something new it's good to be able to just hide this and get it out of your way so now moving over to the mail app we do have some apple intelligence integration slash changes now you do get priority messages basically just finds the messages that are the most urgent and matters the most for you based on perhaps like the context of the mail uh, if it is urgent or not it's going to be able to detect that for you and also message summaries you will be able to quickly just view the entire summary of that specific email which is really really handy and also you can just reply using the apple intelligence it's, they call it smart replies it also makes your life a lot easier but those are the changes when it comes to the mail app we do have one thing that is added on the app store when you just go ahead and open up your app store on the beta 6 ios 18.1 beta 6 it just says what's new on the app store and apple arcade it says a powerful search i believe they are using a lot more ai integrations within the search in order to give you the most relevant apps relevant games now that we got all the new things out of the way the glitches that we had previously is still present the sticker glitch right here as you guys can see if i just go ahead and switch to sticker glitch is still present right here as you guys can see we still have those empty slots of stickers 
it's supposed to have some stickers but it's not working they're completely just broken buttons right here it's still not fixed it's really disappointing to not to be fixed on the beta 6 i was hoping that they will be able to fix this on the beta 6 but it's still not fixed but on top of that overall performance on the ios 18.1 beta 6 it has been a lot better a lot smoother in my opinion nothing too crazy but a lot just smoother everything flowing very very efficient especially maybe because of the control center being a lot more optimized also if you keep in mind that this ios 18.1 beta 6 has the build number a at the end so this indicates usually that we're approaching the end of the beta testing so ios 18.1 will be released to the public soon and everyone will be able to join the waitlist for the apple intelligence so they're just really optimizing it and getting it better and a lot more efficient but nonetheless guys this is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you enjoyed it leave me a big thumbs up because it really helps the channel out and also subscribe down below for more interesting tech content on a weekly basis and check out this video in the meantime thanks again for watching i'll catch you guys next video peace out